Damn lucky. Oh, man, I'll give you your camera. Huh? You're back on? I don't know. Oh. Okay. So, my wife, we counted about 52, 53 so far. And like I was saying, if you guys will remember, let's get, get on in the house, babe. Or get to another location. These mosquitoes are rough out here. That's just we didn't put no off on this morning. And so they uh they take advantage of that. And they hide under these big leaves. And uh so like I told you guys, my experience prior to today was that each plant produces about 15 squash and I was being conservative to say 10 um, and so far we got we've counted about 50 all, all together 50 and uh, there's 10 squash plants down so oh wow I think I broke something there's another one a few more uh So we're averaging uh, 10 plants, 55 per plant so far, about five per plant, and we, we ain't done. Now this is fruition, okay? Yeah, meaning that these squash are fruiting. They're doing just what they're supposed to do. So with all the problems, that it seems like we had at first. Uh, all of those things have been really, really, really temporary. I'm looking through here because there was one big one in the middle of all of that, but I can't see it now. So if you think about growing this squash, Great choice. This is not all the squash that we counted. We counted about 50, 52, 53, for what we could see. Uh, there's squash in here hiding. The leaves, are, they're underneath the leaves. Maybe that's a good thing. Uh, maybe in nature, an animal would see these, particularly like deer or something like that. A deer, they eat a lot of stuff, you know. And I remember I had some roses one time and the deer just went through right when the roses were getting ready to flower and they picked every bud off. And it makes total sense, okay? Didn't make me happy because that went my beauty for my garden around my house. But those, uh, everybody's heard of rose hips. Rose hips have a lot of vitamin C. Those flowers are full of vitamin C and other types of nutrients. So the, the deer were very smart in just eating just that. Not the leaves and obviously not the stems because the stems have uh, a bunch of uh, thorns on roses. So they were very smart in that. I didn't see that little one right there. So I, I don't know. I don't anticipate much of a problem that before harvest time comes, they'll put on another uh, nearly 100. They'll put on about another 50, I mean another 50 to total out 100, which is an average of about 10 squash per plant. So thank you guys for looking. For watching my video. <coughs> oh boy. I'm trying to get out of here now <laughs> because <laughs> these vines are all over the place and uh, I'm trying not to step on them. And at the same time, I'm 
I'm trying not to fall. That's one down there. Trying not to fall. There's another one down there. Try not to fall. This is probably the most exciting and yet stressful time of looking in my garden. Just making sure I get out of here without falling. So, my video, my videos may not be very glamorous, but this is information that's straight and to the point. Uh, there's going to be a lot of squash here. And my next major video will be harvest time. And that's going to be exciting. Because when that time comes, we will not be worried about stepping on those squash. I mean, uh, vines. We won't be worried about that. Yeah, that's a little one right there. That was unintentional, but yeah, that's growing on the fence. So, you guys have a good day. We'll see you next time. Bye.